Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go live later because I want to talk about Harry Fold and Tommy together. But right now I just saw Tommy's live stream and, and the realisation is that Tommy Robinson on Thursday is in the dock accused of speaking honestly about Islam in public in the UK. It doesn't matter that it was outside a court anymore. Um, the, the, the specific reporting restrictions, it seems that they can't really nail a breach on him. And even if they could, that wouldn't amount to anything that they could jail him for, which he's already served two and a half months for in solitary confinement under conditions that any human rights lawyer would just throw up again if they heard. But of course, there are no human rights lawyers for Tommy Robinson. Um, but this is, this is what it comes down to now, is that Tommy was speaking truths about Islam in the UK and about Muslim rape gangs. All stuff that's in Easy Meat, which Peter McLaughlin wrote years ago. And all the justifications have come out in all of the cases as the, the, the men accused of these awful crimes against thousands or hundreds of thousands or even a million children, they've all come out in court. So he's not saying anything. And this goes back to one of the first videos I made when Tommy was arrested, which is it's my belief that it will become increasingly difficult to find a jury in the UK who doesn't know that Muslims are massively, massively overrepresented in rape gang activity, what we call grooming. There's a different type of paedophilia that they don't do. Um, ones and twos, single men, generally abusing within families. That's not Muslim rape gangs. Muslim rape gangs are taking young girls off the street, pretending that they're welcome and loved, feeding them, giving them eventually alcohol, then drugs, and then putting them into a life of sex slavery, even marrying them sometimes, separating them from their family. That whole crime, out of a Muslim population in Britain of about five or six percent, of which of course half are men, <laughs> So that's two or three percent of the population of Britain over the last 15 years or as long as anyone can tell um, that there have been convictions on this 90 percent or 85 to 90 percent of the convictions have been Muslim men out of a population out of the two percent of the population. That's a fact. This is what Tommy was stating outside the court and it now seems that the new court case is because he was saying derogatory things about Islam and derogatory things about Muslims, but not all Muslims, just that 90% of ones, that 90% that of, of convicted child rapists, that's the crime he's now standing in the dock for. And he doesn't want to plead guilty to that. Um, I don't know where this goes from here, but this could be one hell of a trial on Thursday. I'll do another Periscope when I uh, get to my coffee place because I want to tell you about a guy called Harry Fould. Unbelievable hero uh, who fell in battle last week at a shopping mall. Yeah, that's right. Fell in battle. Anyway, um, I'll see you all again in an hour or so. Wow. <laughs>